Hello everybody, welcome back. So, uh, moving into the new year, new opportunities, and uh, looking at some old altcoins, right? So, this is one that we enjoyed a little bit of, uh, a little bit of XVG madness uh, prior to the last run. Uh, and then it's dropped off, which is nice. These are the sort of things that we want to see. Um, because there is, there does appear to be a pattern with XVG that I quite like. Uh, and we're going to talk about it just very briefly. So, all altcoins generally look like this. Um, this is why it's always better to be mainly taking profit into Bitcoin and not hanging around in altcoins for too long unless you know something that others don't. Uh, but, you, you know, eventually it all does come tumbling back down and, and, it, and it all eventually goes back into Bitcoin, you know, as opposed to a bit of a basic overview, but it generally is the case. So what we're looking at here is just the weekly, right? And on this weekly we have a, a pump and a massive consolidation, pump and a massive consolidation, but this time we made a higher high. We've also technically, you know, not that there's much between it, um, made a higher low. So in this context, and again, you know, it's, it's it looks crazy when you think about it, but in, in this context it's... It's, it's not really an uptrend, but it's not as bad as you might think. Leading me to believe that we are going to get another one of these runs uh, at some point soon. Now, this is going to be a slow burner. If we think about the uh, the time it takes for it to consolidate from its peak here to its uh, to its lowest wick, that was uh, 100 and, well, basically 200 days, but more or less 196 days. This one here so far has been... Uh, over that, so longer, so a larger, bigger move and a longer consolidation, that's fine. Um, I think that this is likely to go on to another tear up. So what I wouldn't be saying is that we're, I'm not going to be holding on to this to make an absolute killing above this last week, although that is possible, maybe even likely. I don't want to get caught on the wrong side of an altcoin situation, do you know what I mean? Especially one like this. But I think that XVG is ready to start moving. So if you think about what we just saw here, it's so a high, higher high, uh, low, higher low, that's all consistent with the MACD, the RSI, the money flow index on the weekly, that's all fine, that's all very good. Uh, and on a three day, not that we look at this much, uh, absolute just dump central on the money flow index here, but turning up actually on the uh, on the RSI. So bullish divergence on the three day time frame on this last portion of uh, over here, and again, first green tick on the histogram. Uh, looking quite good there. So I'll move, I'll just move it back down to a daily. Yeah, this is always the way I, I do it. I'm always looking for the longest term time frames first. Uh, I entered this last night, by the way, so I did. I do have an, uh, a position in this. Not too different from where we are right now. 36 sats I got uh, I got in at, and I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm looking to basically double my, my sats on this one. Um, but again, I'm not a financial advisor. It's just me telling you what I've done. It's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, I do not have uh, a perfect track record. Um, I've been touting X, uh, sorry, not um, what is it? ICP as a, as a big turnaround trade. And to be honest with you, I still do believe that is the case. But the the signals uh, that we were looking at prior to uh, to, to the dump were, were different. So I'm still holding on to that. So I'm just just letting you know that I'm not perfect by any means, right? So when you watch these videos, you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. This is my analysis, my my trades. You need to do yours. Uh, don't just go copying me because you see me doing something, but. But most of the time I'm okay. You know, most of the time it works out quite well. But uh, with ICP, uh, it was was not really. Uh, my general buy-in area was about forty-two dollars. So, oof, a little under the water there, I have to say. Um, but um, no big deal. No big deal. I, I see the market going into a tear-up mode. You know, throughout the next quarter and maybe in the next two quarters. So I'm pretty confident that it will work out in the end. But uh, but uh, like I say, I, that that was no perfect entry point at all. So. Like I say, I'm certainly not a financial advisor. So, but anyway, um, daily. Um, the daily looks like it wants to turn around here as well. So similar to the three day, we're getting uh, histogram ticks up here. We're, we've got an RSI breakout. It looks like this consolidation is, is finished, and we're going to start moving into a, a, a larger um, a, tur a, a, a turning up of price action. So if we get the absolute peak over here, so I'll be looking for this to move up to about 49 sats, wherever the 200 exponential is, and that'll be above the cloud. And being above the cloud for XVG is always a good place to be this is where uptrends will begin so if we can break out and above of 50 to 51 there that's where we'll get the next tear up and like I say I'm not looking to ride this all the way up to uh, you know the most recent peak of uh, 151 sats but I would be looking for uh, you know over a hundred sats ideally so I'll be taking out some profit on the way up first of all my investment will be taken out initially uh, and then I'll be uh, taking more and more out so I'm not looking for this to moon forever and hold on to this until you know the bitter end which will be probably pretty bitter but I am looking for this to turn up you know pretty immediately to be honest and be one of those um, 
uh, altcoin choices that should outperform Bitcoin, which is this is the whole point. This is why I'm trading the XVG to Bitcoin. Just want to double my sats, double the Bitcoin that I put into this, and then uh, look for more opportunities. So it looks good on the daily, three day, weekly. Let's bring it to the four hourly. What turning points have we got here? So, right, so the first time in a while now that we've, uh, this is just over this last four hour, that we've got above the, uh, the, the 200 exponential. We want to stay above here in order to, uh, to start an uptrend. Now, we did have a bit of a move over here. So, there's a long consolidation here from this peak over here uh, all the way down below the 200 exponential finally broke above it had a tear up now right, now what we're trying to do on the four hours to break above it and get a tear up is it going to be enough well if it is it won't be in the same way that this uh, moved up and then just basically tailored it tapered right back off down to its previous low 35 um, it should given the given the overall all the time frames we've looked at you know weekly, three daily, daily, down to the four hourly, move on to a larger, more consistent uptrend. So this is just the way that it looks. It does look very positive. It does look quite low in its value at the moment. And, and the, yeah, we're, if we're talking about the all time most recent high, we, we're, we're looking at maybe even tripling our investment that we put in. Although I wouldn't suggest you put your money in and hold you know, for you know, that top target, you know, it's just a top target you've got to take out on the way up. But again, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, but XVG looks good. Don't believe what the uh, the haters will tell you. It is a terrible coin in the long term, no doubt. But in the short term, as in the next few months, that is my version of a short term time frame, like two months, perhaps. This does look like it's got some uh, some promise to it. And if we can continue with this kind of vibe, we'll just slice these uh, slice these tops off and uh, forget about the wicks. We are looking, we are potentially looking, you know, for, for this to hit its previous all time, well, m most recent high. 150 sats is 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 a, is not unlikely. Let's face it. But I, I certainly won't be waiting for that exactly to be tagged. But it does look pretty good. Again, it's very early days at the moment. We've still got certain areas to reclaim. Uh, first of all, we really want to get above the cloud and the 200 exponential on the daily. That's where things will really turn around for us. Um, but for the moment, essentially what we're looking to do is buy the lows, consolidation over on the four hourly. So, you know, I suppose biting the bullet for me yesterday was, you know, looking to catch an actual low. Do you know what I mean? It's not catching an uptrend. It's in anticipation for what I think could become a decent uptrend. It's not an uptrend now. So by the end of watching this video, um, you'll finish watching it and, and look at the XVG chart and go, oh, it's, just, it's not moved. It's, in fact, it's gone down two sets. He was wrong. But that, that's that's not what this is about. This is about trying to catch a low in anticipation for a breakout, which could be significant, leading this up to our previous peak, to which I will not be waiting for. But if we were to, on the measured move from here to there, it would be a 300% move. So for those with the big balls, the irresponsible balls, I should say, uh, you could put one Bitcoin in here and end up with four Bitcoins overall over here. Right. I'll leave it with you there. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy your, your enjoyed your Christmas. Have a nice boxing day. Good holiday and take it easy.